Um, we call this our Cote de Coubly. This is a wine um, that's very special to us. It's one of our first biodynamic wines, but it's also coming from Cowhorn Vineyard. This is a Syrah and Grenache uh, blend. Cowhorn Vineyard has been biodynamic. Um, some of the pioneers for biodynamics, I would say in, in Oregon, Southern Oregon in particular, they've been doing it since their inception. So we're really proud to be working with them. Um, but their, their climate and their site where their vineyard is located uh, is around 12 miles to the south of us, and it's a very different site. Um, they have a lot more influence of gravel, a riverbed, and rocks in their soil, but they also are a lot colder than we are. They have a mountain that's right on their property to their east, whereas Troon's property is very open. So we get warm, warmer, and they're a little cooler influence. So all in all, the different variables, the fruit components and qualities of these fruit come out very different than if we were to grow this and make this wine. Um, so with that said, this is a Syrah and Grenache blend. Typically, we like to co-ferment things, but the Rhone Valley grapes, we've learned, um, they don't really like to be co-fermented as much. So with that being said, this is majority around 72% Syrah, 28% Grenache. The fruit is picked by hand. We ferment this outside with native yeast. Um, that's one of our favorite things, is to really showcase the, the, the property of the vineyard is through native yeast. And we will press, uh, tread this, and then let it sit under oak trees. Um, right behind our vineyard, we have a big lot of oak trees that provide a lot of shade. And so when we get really hot in the summer and fall, we can move that wine underneath the shade to really slow that ferment and control that temperature. And if we need it to kickstart up a little bit warmer, we can just move it back out into the sunlight. So back and forth manually is, is very nice. For about three to four weeks, we'll do um, one punch down a day, slightly punching down the top and work our way deeper and deeper over time. Around three weeks to a month. After that time of skin maceration, you get a wonderful color. For us, purple, I, I love purple. It's not like overly extracted, but you still get that right extraction of tannins of color phenolics. Um, we'll press this into French oak barrels. Um, then it spends the rest of its life around nine months to 18 months in there, depending on each lot of wine. They call for different things. This one in particular was around a year, a little over a year in the barrel. Because of the components of how it was grown and how it was treated during the winemaking process, this has so much energy in the glass, a lot of aromatics coming out at you. So stewed blueberries, blackberries, it's not quite compote or like jammy fruit, but it's definitely a stovetop blueberries making a reduction sauce. Very potent, but there's also a savory aspect here of like smoked meats and charcuterie, a little bit of pepper and spice. Um, so I think all that coming together is very complex wine. Very juicy. Again, the common theme with all Troon wines is the acid. This wine is very luscious, but the acid really cuts through it and makes it still refreshing. So on that note, if you were to have this with food, I would recommend um, one of my personal favorites would be like a lamb shank. Uh, on the bone, have the wine in the reduction sauce and drizzle that over. You could put some beans and some greens or basil in there to uh, you know, help rich that dish up with flavor. Um, but, but keep it simple, nice meat, a little bit of fat to balance these tannins. It's pretty grippy, um, but all said and done, it's one of my favorite wines and Troon's very proud of it. So we look forward to being able to serve you again with this and bring all of your questions that you can. We'd love to talk more about it. Um, until then, be safe and eat healthy. We'll see you later.